what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm poking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clearing the crowd Okay, hey guys, we're on a new episode of Talk of the Town Today we got a special guest What's going on, Elijah Oscar? Make some questions, just say the first thing that comes to mind Gotcha What's your sign? Sag What's your favorite color? Blue Worst food ever? Spanish food Three traits of every New York girl. Attitude. Get money. Scam. Okay. Then st stranded on the and on the island. Three things you need to bring. Za exotic. Um, what else? A lighter. Biggest pet peeve? Liars. One artist you want to collab with? Justin Bieber. Um, one sentence for your ex? Who's that? A rapper you wouldn't let date your daughter if you have one. <laughs> I see you said Blueface before, right? So I'm going to try to come with something different. I didn't say that. Another artist probably said Rapper. That. be a young boy. Okay. Um, favorite artist currently? King Von. Last thing you spent money on? Camera. Camera? Mm hmm Okay. And you think you if you could break a world record, what record would that be? A world record. World record. Let's yeah. see. If you could break one, what would it be? Longest conversation. I love to talk. I could break that easily. I okay. <laughs> All right, let's easily. get into it. All right, so for the people that don't know, where you from? I'm from Chicago, but moved here from to New York, so obviously type shit. New Rockland County shout out my Rockland niggas. Yeah. So you moved from Chicago. When did you get here? About eleven years old, like half my life, so I'm twenty four right now. So Okay, so you did high school years here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. So, um, how'd you get into music, though? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I kind of just been doing music since maybe I was, like, 12. Just kind of started listening to albums. You know, you Google, like, what are the best albums out? You know, you're trying to get into hip-hop, so start listening to music, and then just start making my own shit after that. So, what was the first album you heard? Lil Bow Wow, Beware of the Dog. Where my dog's at. <laughs> Woof. Yeah, okay. Facts. All right, so what made you want to start making music, though, after doing your research? Um, Loki, I kind of just seen, like, people getting on from it, but having a story to tell, too, you know what I mean? But that was kind of it, just to make hits, you know what I'm saying? Kind of enjoy, like, the rapper shit, but then later on came, like, okay, now you got to have purpose to your music, substance and shit like that, mm -hmm. yeah. So you feel like it's like that now? It's like, it's like give or take, because I feel like nowadays, like, the artist, you could be whatever. Like, you could be a jokester and still be thriving, but you could also be a serious artist and be underground, but people respect you, but you might not have as much money. You know what I'm trying to say? So what's and your goal? My goal? What do you think is, like, ideal for you? Um, I'm just trying to see what the fans honestly gravitate to. I'm saying, do you want to be lyrical, respected, and not make as much money, or be corny? And I don't want to say corny, but... You know like I mean? gimmicky, yeah. Yeah. Um, to me, I feel like you gotta you gotta have duality, you gotta have balance. Um, so like, I like artists like Eminem that was doing funny songs, or like artists like Kanye do funny songs, but then also get serious on on you. So okay. definitely have some balance in it. But um, that's just me. You know what I mean? Just be myself. That's really the main thing. Okay. So who's some artists that inspire you? I guess. You know, you said Eminem. Um. I wouldn't go that far. I mean, oh, Eminem, cool. shout out okay. to him, shout out to him, shout out to him. <laughs> um, I fuck with, like, a lot of singers. Um, Luther Vandross, Quincy Jones. Fucking Justin Bieber early on. He was going crazy back in the day. Um, I have, like, a wide variety. You keep saying Justin Bieber. So you really fuck with Justin Bieber? Yeah, yeah. Like, I know all his albums, everything. That's just fire. So well, how do you feel about him, like, selling his catalog? Scooter Brian, we got to talk about that. But 
at the end of the day, I feel like this music industry really kind of puts artists in a different position to kind of be in the now versus mm-hmm. own your catalog and years later you kind of profit off of it. So, I mean, that was his decision. Um, he is slowing down as far as popularity. There was like a little racist shit that came out. People were like, well, we can't fuck with him. So, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? In this artist, I, I f- in this game, I fuck with a lot of artists. Um, I fuck with the drill artists too. I fuck with a lot of like K Flock Free Him. I fuck with like C Blue, Dougie, all DOA, all them niggas. But Kyle Rich, some of them niggas too. You know what I mean? New York got a big scene going on. Like mm-hmm. took over. You know what I mean? Do you feel like tempted to make drill, being that so many drill artists popping right now? Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Cause I feel like you I'm in New York right now, I'm a Chicago artist, but to me, there's Chicago, other... Chicago, I mean, they originated drill, too. So you yeah, had yeah. it in you, I guess. Like you said, me, I'm more of like a chance to rapper kind of Chicago. Yeah. You know what okay. I mean? Versus like a, yo, Little I'm baby. shooting... You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's Glocks and Switches type of Chicago. Shout out to my niggas with the Glocks and Switches. But at the same time, I feel like that's me. You got to stay true to that. You could collab okay. with drill artists, like, be it organic, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so walk us through your creative process. Like, how are you in the studio? How do you get in your vibe? Um, I'm gonna be honest, right? I'm Haitian. I need a big bottle of barbecue right next to me. I need my engineer. Mm-hmm. I need him to be locked in. I need mm-hmm. in the studio. I need at least some weed in there. You feel me? I'll probably say a little quick prayer before I touch the mic. Thanks. Thank you, God, for my ability. You know, thanks for letting me inspire people. Shout out to my fans or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my creative process. I'll just freestyle. Don't really write, but if artists I'm around, they're like, yo, write something or whatever, then I'll do that. But for okay. the most part, I just freestyle. Okay. And when you first started releasing music, because I see you took like a three-year break. Yeah, yeah, a little hiatus, you know what I mean? So what happened? Um, honestly, that's crazy. You know, you did your research. It's crazy you know that because i seen a little bit of recognition early on, but my parents really did not want me to do the music shit. I'm, I come from like a real religious background so they were kind of like whoa this shit popping people are coming up to me yo you elijah oscar son shit like that so then i had to take it back you know what i mean okay. readjust so family wasn't really messing with the music thing nah not so at all you stopped and i mean is there a plan a if you wasn't doing music what do you think you'll be doing or plan b nah i'm not gonna lie. this is the only plan okay. music but i got a software brand coming out too Keep it going, but it's in junction with the music and creative. Okay, okay, okay. So before, when you dropped music at that time, were you just having fun? Were you trying to feel it out? Like what was um, at that time, I was trying to make like a. This is when Vine was popping. Like okay. real early, I was trying to make like a funny song, trying to get people to laugh, shit like that, and it worked. The first song got like ten thousand. Second song got about twenty thousand. About a side nigga. Second, third song got one hundred fifty thousand. And you took a hiatus then? I had the bread. If you 16, like, put it this way. I'm not from the city, right? I'm from the suburbs. From the city, you 16. You don't scam. You don't get some pieces. You don't, do, you don't make it work. Me, I'm like, I don't have a job. I'm just rapping in my basement. So it's like, yeah. I don't have the video. My man's just trying to shoot a video on some bum-ass canyon. So it's like, I'm like, nah, I got to do it the right way. But, right. you know, so that's why I'm back now. Okay, so fast forward to now. So what's your... Process like now? Uh, my process now is a little bit more professional, less like home studio vibe, more like paying for sessions, trying to get the, the best producers, the best um, sessions. Shout out to Angie Romario, New York. Uh, shout out to Tribeca Studios, a lot of, a lot of dope studios in New York City, mm-hmm. Brooklyn. So just trying to really put invest in myself, really. Okay. But I mean, you even do music videos now because Smile is out. Yeah, no, nah, it's not out yet. We showed a well, preview. Showed show the preview. preview. Yeah. Okay, show the preview. Okay, so what inspired that song? The Jersey movement. The hips. <laughs> Too rare. Okay. Everything. Want to rock. You feel me? That's what really inspired it because it's like you see artists and you kind of, now you got to do what they do, but you kind of got to compete. Shout out to all my Jersey niggas. Shout out to my hack and sack niggas. Everybody that I know up in Jersey. So it's like, I was really out there too. So it's like, it's not like I'm, being it, but it's like definitely fucking tapping in with the Jersey artists. Um, okay. And the, you know, the dancers and shit like that. So 
Okay. All right, so you rocking with the jersey sound? Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Like, I fuck with a lot of jersey okay. shit. You got to move to the mic. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I fuck with a lot of jersey shit. Um, Like I said, Koi LeRae, she's going crazy. Girls is players, too. Like, I'm really in tap. You feel me? If you know, you know. Okay. All right, so that video's coming soon. Do we have a release date? 428, April 28th is coming out. So you got artists, too? Yeah, yeah, Izzy, shout out Izzy too, Raw, you feel me, she's coming next, she's like a BK the Ruler type of okay. rapper, like a real, like, vibey emo, but still, like, very, like, vibey type shit, yeah, she's okay. our. so are you managing artists, or, like, how's Yeah, I'm going? signing niggas too, signing niggas too, 5K, signing, that's, that's the deal, I'm sorry, 5K. <laughs> I ain't got nothing crazy, bro. Please lock in, lock in with me for eighteen months. Five K, I'm dead ass. All right, so so <laughs> if artists want to reach out, who should they contact? Uh, my manager Tibby Tibby D. He's a, a viral comedian. Um, yeah, I probably heard of him. He fucks with Booba. He's been doing a lot of shit in in the city. Okay, so how is that? I guess managing artists and still being an artist. Um, it's more, it's kind of natural because a lot of these people is like friends, family. It's really hard to kind of like incorporate other people into the system, but mainly friends and family, so it's not that hard. Okay. All right, so is the is the label called something? Yeah, expanding the culture, it's the same thing as the brand. Um, I want to actually give you something right now. Hold on one second. Oh, thank you. And um, yeah, to be honest, just to talk a little bit about the brand, it's more of a software company, but also just a movement that we're doing to try to create more creative spaces for just young artists, young kids, just trying to either want to do art, basketball, but just have a place where in the app where they can actually find it, you know, okay. on the map and shit like that. Yeah. Okay. So is the app out already? Um, we're working on that, too. The beta is up, expandingtheculture.com. That's on the website. If you guys want to look at that, you guys can play around with the creative tools and the resources that we have. Okay, so what inspired this? Um, This was kind of like a passion project. I always wanted to be, like, you know, in the tech world, rival with YouTube. Um, and that's what we're going to do. We plan on rivaling with TikTok and trying to really create the next um, interface, user interface for people to really – Go crazy with it. Okay. And you said the goal is to like kind of for kids to be expressive? Um, not necessarily expressive, but you know how everybody's on the phone nowadays. It's yeah. more like incentivizing people to be outside the creative spaces in your city. So let's so say like so like a book of space or something? Not necessarily that, but it's like let's say you want to know where uh there's a cipher going on. All right, there's a there's a cipher maybe going on on forty second street. But then oh. you wanna let's say you're a painter want to do a painting sip today also where is the like painting sip events, i guess yeah um, yeah like more events but also okay. kind of like building with creative so once you go out you oh, build you points yeah build you points. build points and kind of oh, you know cool. so we're working on it it's a working project but um the main thing is just creative spaces and trying to get people to get out of the house you know what i mean yes so are you not feeling the in-house vibes or um i'm a homebody very much a homebody but at the same time we got to, you know, we got to really kind of make our community better. That's what I'm really trying to do. Um, there's a lot of initiatives that I feel like we could give back as far as picking up litter, um, you know, the garbage, uh, Haiti. I definitely want to pray for Haiti, want to raise some awareness about what's going on there, mm -hmm. but also just trying to stop gun violence. You know, I'm from Chicago, but, in, you know, in the Bronx, New York, it's very you know, prevalent as well. Yeah. How do you feel about them kind of like blaming like kind of drill music on the amount of violence we have now? That's a tough one. If you want me to be honest, I fuck with drill music, but at the same time, I, I see where they coming from. I see where the mayor's coming from. Shit is, it's mixy. It's a mixy subject, but at the same time, you can't really say that's what's thriving it because niggas want to rap and get out. You know what I'm saying? So... It's really up to the individual. Some niggas are smart with it. Some niggas do the other thing with it. It's just really how you play with it. Yeah. So, but would you ever try to do drill music or want to do drill music? 
Yeah, we're doing a drill video right after this. I'm saying, but you say you're doing a Jersey club sound, so you're going to do drill too? Yeah, we're doing a Jersey, then we're doing a drill. Okay. Then we do whatever, really, to be honest. I like switching it up to give my fans versatility. Okay. And um, do you feel like it's just such a thing as, like, positive drill music? No such a thing. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, Ice Spice is doing a lot of positive things for the community. I like what she's doing, but... I don't like that Northwest video. I don't like it. But anyway, we next subject. Okay. Um. So how? So how? So she's just connecting with her kid fan base. No. Hmm. So how would you connect with your ch- child fan base? Hmm. That's that's it. I want to know your opinion too because I want to know your opinion too because as kids we listen to is getting hot in like the shit we wasn't supposed to listen to so. Mm-hmm. Now that we're older, we're looking at it different, a more mature lens, so it's really hard to say. So this is just a new version of what you shouldn't be listening to, and kids are going to run to that, you know? Yeah, but I just feel like society kind of, it's, it's like a, it's a cycle that keeps going on. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, we can't be hard on, I don't know, I feel like we can't be hard on us trying to break it, because it was already happening. Yeah, and she's from, she's from the Bronx, so... Do what you got to do, you know what I mean? Like, when you're at that type of level, I feel like you just, you're not thinking too deep into it, the blogs, and, you know, they're going to try to switch, spin the narrative, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay, so what's some of your, I guess, musical goals? Like, what's your plan with your music? Billboards, number ones. I promise you we'll have a number one record. In ten, ten years, five years, we're going to have a number one record. I want to work with very different artists. I want to work with um, Burner Boy. Shout out to Burner Boy with, with that band. Um, but a lot of different people just just kind of want to make it international and kind of um, expand the culture. Okay. How, speaking of collabs, have you been working on any collabs? Yeah, we got something with Benny the Butcher coming out. Shout out to Benny Butcher, me and Cordell Mari um, on the boom bap type tip. You know, the lyrical, you know what I okay. mean? So it's like I want to give them a taste so I can show them I could do everything. But because people always said you need a sound, you need a sound. I feel like what I'm talking about will be the sound. You know what I mean? The language. Okay. And do you have a team working with you, like, on the app or with your music? Or? Yeah, yeah. Shout out to uh, Joe Solin. He's working on me with the software. Shout out to my lawyer, Dennis McGloster. We got it. We got shit cooking over here. Yeah, facts. Okay. So, so the team is coming together. All right. So what's the plans? What should we expect 2023? Like, what is, what's going to look out? That's a good question. Um, That's a good um question. Um, What you should look out for is more freestyles. More interviews, mm-hmm. more videos. I want to drop one every month, maybe twice a month. Different sounds, different traveling. I want to shout out to my people in Brazil. Shout out to uh, Rashid and Jordan. Mm-hmm. Shout out to everybody that I really know. Uh, a Hickey in Brazil, you feel me? We really gonna, we going to tap in. Shout out to everybody in Houston. Just because Chicago. Shout out to Ali in Chicago. My niggas on the low end, West Side, Cicero, all that shit. But... I just want to really just connect really with the United States just because I feel like the sounds is different too. Like down South, they are always telling me, we're not listening to that drill shit. We barely know Fabi. We barely know Pop Smoke. And if you we barely know the drill shit, but it's like uh, here, that's the biggest shit ever. Niggas know the shit like it's a soap opera. You know what I mean? So it's like I kind of want to bridge the sounds and kind of like, you know, link up with other artists. There's a lot of like divisive, like it's in the 90s on some shit like West Coast, East Coast, down South. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. So you want to bridge up the north and the south, kind of? Yeah, yeah, but I also just want to um, just make better music. A lot of you niggas is trash. I'm going to keep it a buck. Like, niggas is popping, too. Like, I don't really want to get into it, but, yeah, I just want to push better music. You know what I mean? Okay, so what advice would you give to someone that's, like, trying to, I guess, get started into music? What have you learned on your journey? If you it's not going to happen overnight. Um, that's probably pretty much the main thing. It's not going to happen overnight. And just build with yourself. Listen to a lot of dope artists. Listen to people that your mom listened to. You know, listen to different eras of music. Become a music lover before you start this because I feel like a lot of people happen in there. Don't get me wrong. The raw shit is fire. The raw shit, different flows and shit is fire, but I definitely want to hear a little bit more um, sophistication, a little bit more complexity complexity with the arrangements and the music, shit like that. Okay. All right, so 
April 28th, smile will drop. April 28th, Smile is coming out. So I just want to say thank you to all the fans. Thank you to everybody supporting me. Because this is one of the biggest videos coming out this year. We got another video coming out doing tonight, Driving Disconnect. We got a, we got a drill video coming out. So tap in. We got CPD Films on that. If you guys know who that is, he's been doing it. Uh, who move? Look, Shai Sugar Hill Kim, Shai K, Shai G's. He's been fucking with a lot of niggas. So um, I definitely want to give a salute to him. Shout out to him because he's been putting in a lot of work this year. And all the creators, because I'm really trying to build a community and a team of people that, not even just a team, but just like a group of, of individuals that are really just trying to, you know, push the culture forward. For sure. So tell people where to find you. How can they tune in? You can find me at Elijah Oscar Music. You can find me at Elijah Oscar on Instagram, pretty much anywhere. Um, Elijah Oscar on TikTok, Twitch. Are you on Twitch? Yeah, yeah. You can find um, me on Twitch. Anywhere, anywhere that there's me, and I definitely want to give another shout out to my guy Tibby. He's been working hard with the community, uh, comedy shit. So, find me on there, and um, yeah, find me on that. Instagram.